Hi there, my name's Jane Anderson. You've probably heard that I'm coming to speak with you on the 26th of November with the Resource Industry Network, and I am super excited about coming to hang out with you. You know, I don't know about you, but I find when I'm out working with people is that, you know, they're going through so much change and so much disruption in their organizations and, and people are just trying to adapt and evolve and trying to keep up. And the challenge with that is that we have a personal brand. We have the ability to be intentional about our career. And the problem is, is that with so much going on is how do we stay relevant? How do we be intentional when we're trying to adapt to everything that's happening? And sometimes what happens is you kind of lose yourself in the process. And so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be speaking just after lunch and then I'll be running a sponsors workshop in the afternoon. So if you're coming along to the, uh, the keynote session that's just after lunch, what I'll be talking about is how to be really intentional in your career. So what are the things that you need to do to be able to really step into your power, to step into you know, your best version of you so that the opportunities that are out there are coming to you. Now, I don't mean necessarily that you're leaving your job. I mean, there's lots of opportunities within the organization you work with. It's just being intentional about what you want. So I'm going to teach you the three things that I do when I'm helping people build their personal brand. You know, I, most people will say to me, oh, I don't even know if I've got a personal brand. Well, reality is you have got one, whether you like it or not, but you have a choice in how you want it to sound, how you want it to, um, how do you want to position yourself and how you can access opportunities. Your personal brand is what is uh, often said about you when you're not in the room, which was what Jeff Bezos said from Amazon. And I think that's true. Um, the third thing I'm going to talk about is how you can promote yourself without looking cocky or arrogant or anything like that. Um, you know, we, we have that challenge around the tall poppy in Australia. So how do you promote and market yourself without looking like that. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. And I'm going to also share with you how you can step into your most authentic voice and be confident in self-promotion, but without being, um, without feeling uncomfortable doing it. And in a way that looks really natural, sounds really natural, you feel congruent with it and everybody else feels very connected to what you're saying. So make sure you come along to the keynote for that. So I look forward to seeing you there. For those who are coming along to the sponsors workshop in the afternoon, what I'm going to be talking about is I'm going to go a little bit deeper. I'm going to show you what I do with my clients when I'm helping them unpack their positioning. I'm going to talk about um, there's four specific key areas that we look at when helping you to position your brand and then be able to get it to connect with the people that you want to be positioned with. So in other words, your networks. Um, I'm also going to help you to identify perhaps even a couple of things that maybe are even sitting right at your fingertips that maybe you're not even tapping into right now that could even be there. Um, and I find about 99% of the clients I work with are completely overlooking this one specific area of their career and, and business growth using their personal brand. So we're going to have a look at that. And the other thing I'm going to do is help you have a look at well, what are the actions that you need to take over the next 12 to 18 months to help you to step into your positioning and your personal branding. You know, when we're building personal branding, we're really looking at what are you doing in the next 12 to 18 months? And it's about your future as opposed to your past. So I look forward to seeing you if you're coming along to the sponsors workshop. So regardless, make sure you bring your questions. I'd love to hear how you're going. Love to hear uh, what you do to implement personal branding as part of your world. I'll bring some books along on the day and uh, if you want to grab one of those and otherwise I look forward to seeing you then.